very exciting year for, for Cakewalk, a very important year. Uh, we have increased our long, long standing relationship with Roland very dramatically. And one very important person uh, in that relationship is Mr. Kimitaka Kondo, who is here today. I would like to please say hello. So I think maybe five years ago or more, uh, Mr. Kondo and I talk about the future and, and what to do. And I almost can't believe that today we, we are finally launching uh, this product to the public and introducing it. Uh, anyway, uh, this has been an important uh, year for Cakewalk and Roland. And I think many people probably wonder, what will we do? Uh, what's the point of this alliance? And today we're going to talk about a very important first step we're going to take together for that future. So what is next for Cape One? Uh, I think to understand why we did this, uh, there are two points. Uh, one point is a long-term trend in which musicians are doing more and more things themselves. So uh, maybe 30 years ago, they would only use a mono or a stereo tape deck to record themselves. And then eventually, of course, the four track cassette recorder uh, came along. And maybe the quality wasn't good, but it was a taste of studio technology that a musician could use themselves. And then, of course, we had the introduction of digital recording on the personal computer or a dedicated device such as the VS880. And as this has evolved, uh, today it's, it's basically normal for a musician to do their own recording, mixing, and, and production. Uh, not everyone, but many musicians are very comfortable with this whole process. Uh, another important point, uh, some context, is the diode theory. What is the diode theory? Uh, Mr. Kakahashi, who many of you know is the, the founder of Roland, uh, told me this idea some years ago. And uh, his background is hardware and electronics, so he knew a diode is a, a circuit component that lets a signal go in one direction, but it can't go the other way. So uh, I'm a software guy, I, I didn't know this, but, but he explained it to me. And so what does this have to do with music and video? His idea is that for a musician, it's relatively easy to learn how to make video. Uh, it, obviously you have to learn a lot and practice, but it's fairly realistic to become good at making video. However, for a, a video person, uh, to learn how to do audio and, and then to actually do music is, is, is very difficult and it's very complicated. So his, his theory was, in a, a world where more and more people do everything themselves, uh, both audio and video, that a musician has an advantage, and that companies like Take Walk and Roland that create products for musicians also are in a good position to, to uh, be part of this world. Next slide. Um, so today, uh, or up until today, Roland and Take Walk had had uh, complete solutions for many different situations for audio and video, whether it's live performance, recording, or production or editing. The one hole, the one missing piece of the puzzle, really has been the bottom right corner, which is for production, editing, and audio. And that is why we're here today uh, to introduce to you the next, next generation, next slide please, of uh, vStudio. At this point, the only thing that could be possibly better than me continuing to talk would be for us to, to watch a video. So I think, uh, let me play a very exciting video for you.
Thank you. That looks like a very exciting movie, and it opens tonight at, at theaters around the country. Okay, at this point.